Hello guys, my hello back in with another new video and few days ago, not few days, I would say few months ago, I showed you uh, HyperJS, that is a component library for AlpineJS, okay, obviously third party but open source. Now today I have another new component library from them that is HyperUI. Now here you will get a lot of Tailwind CSS component that is like uh, obviously reusable in any of the apps that you like and obviously any of use case uh, that you want to use and they have a like really good collection of the components over here. So let me share the library with you today. Like this website with you and let's go through together okay so let's start with the video as you can see here is hyper js uh, the alpine js library uh, that you can use obviously use in any of your project now, what is Alpine JS? Uh, how to use it in any project? I have shown that to you before. Okay. Now, today we are here about to see Hyper UI because uh, it it have a lot of Tailwind CSS components, and as you can see, it have certain sections in its app in this website. So we have a e-commerce section, dedicated e-commerce section, where we can see e-com specific components over here. So suppose I have a product component and here you can see it's literally a great product component, but those, this particular site has no reactivity into it. Okay. Keep that in mind because none of the code includes any of the code of Alpine So this side and this side is totally different. Okay. Keep that in mind before using it. Now we have, uh, obviously this is a responsive design. We have all of the uh, responsiveness available over here, like all of the screen size, responsiveness for all of the screen size available over here. And you can test it out while uh, viewing all of those. Okay. As you can see, and here is a like really uh, little integration that I can see that is often YouTube video that is also great that you can have over here. But as you can see, there is no reactivity in it. Okay, so keep obviously keep that in mind. Rather than the color, we have no reactivity. And we have application UI. And in application UI, we have headers, side menu, and particle menu. So side menu is something that I really, really uh, like, to be honest, because obviously uh, not many of us like not many of the ui component library built this okay and i'm seriously loving it as you can see and they have built it like quite quite obviously like uh greatly the i i can't say like all of the uh 11 a 11 y rules are maintained but it's great okay uh, and obviously those are also reactive reactive means responsive okay that is there uh, now in uh, uh, that rather than like application UI and uh, e-commerce we have a lot of other components like alerts announcements badges banners so what you can do you can pick a alert from it here okay you can pick any of the styles that you like and you can combine it with this code that is possible okay like suppose uh alert close okay suppose this is our component i can simply uh copy this code and uh use it over here to generate the component but with same reactivity of this component okay uh, because it's using alpine JS. so that is possible so that's the thing uh this is how you can mix and match component in both of the uh component libraries that they have made and if you like this too much please go to github 
as this is an open source project, project you can uh, contribute to it or uh, give it a star at least so they will like they will be appreciated so you can do do those two things for sure so that's basically about it that's basically about this library there are lots of lots of things to uh, see and as i'm noticing they have most probably used tabular icons over here because i know those icons so yeah great usage of tabular as well so that's basically it about this video let me know uh how you gonna use this library because this is really great we have simple tailwind components we, we i know there are tons of tailwind components out there but it looks pretty simple pretty neat and to be honest for my personal use case i would have i would use it too okay because i like their styles and their simplicity okay that's why so that's it uh uh if you know about some of the great libraries like this please let me know about all of them though i can i i could make a video maybe in future i will make a video about all of the tailwind components library that i know uh, though please tell me about all of the temple uh, all of the libraries or open source projects like this which is really great i would love to use them myself as well and obviously share uh, them to the world rather than that if you like my videos in general or like this particular video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe to this channel and comment down below which portion do you like the most so that's it for this video bye